to do a bit of hiking today. Well, I mean, by hiking, I mean pretty much a lot of walking. And that's what the zoo is about. It is huge. This place requires a lot of walking, under the sun especially. <laughs> there is not much shelter here at the zoo as compared to the river safari, so be prepared to walk. I mean, sure, there is the tram. You could take the tram around. Um, but in the zoo, particularly in the zoo, you get to see more if you're walking. It's not like the night safari. You won't miss anything if you're just walking in the zoo. Let me put it that way. What is up, you guys? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Guess what? It is like 8.30 a.m. Yes, I took the 8.30 a.m. slot. Very early this morning for me. But first, we need to have breakfast. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on, I'm hungry. I just woke up and i here at the zoo, or nature. That is sunrise for you guys. Not very often you'll see sunrise on this channel. I know in the past I told you guys I'm not a morning person. I'm still not a morning person, but you can't have that as an excuse for not coming out to make a vlog here at the zoo. I feel like I'm very chatty this morning. Hmm, talking way too much at the start of the day. And good morning, pelicans. What a start, what an early morning start for the pelicans. These are the great white pelicans. You guys remember about the tidy lights? Look, this is a promotion period only. It is from the 27th March to 4th April. But let's go for Thai. Do you think I'm crazy having Thai food for breakfast? Oh my God, guys, the restaurant is still not open. Hey, the zoo is open already. I'm not here early. Well, I, I am here early. I took the first slot, 8.30. But the food, the food is not ready yet. <laughs> All right, all right, you guys, I will wait. So they say that the tidy light is only open on the weekends. Today is a Thursday and they're not open. Arming's Cafe, on the other hand, opens at 10.30. It is too early, guys. It is still too early in the zoo. <laughs> I'm hungry and I can't get anything to eat at the moment. So I guess I'll start the vlog first and then maybe come back later for a meal. Oh, well. I think the only thing now is to decide what to cover today at the zoo. I'm very tempted to vlog about the apes today because I watched Kong vs Godzilla yesterday. But apparently they are not out here now, so maybe we have to do this another day. I need to look for the map. Only with the map I could decide which section I should do first. Found it! Alright, so today I'm guessing we will do reptiles. Yes, Reptopia. Can you see that? Reptopia. Don't you just love all these signs? Look at these signboards. Reptopia, and they have a chameleon face at the front. All right, Reptopia, here we come. I told you I was very chatty this morning. All right, enough of me talking. Let's do this. First stop, we have the Malayan flat shell turtle. And he's just there, guys. Look at him. I'm sorry, guys, I'm wrong. This whole enclosure here has four different types of turtles. This is the black marsh turtle, and as I mentioned, the Malayan flat shell turtle, and then we got the Chinese striped neck turtle, and one more is the spiny teal turtle. Turtles' names are easy. I'm impressed with myself. So we got one guy over there, one fella over here. Look at this guy hiding over there. One sunbathing over here. The sun is still not out yet. One chilling over here. Another fella swimming over there. Ooh, feeding time. You guys, we've reached to the Komodo dragon. So the Komodo dragon can weigh up to 166 kilos and reach up to a length of three meters. This guy is still tiny, guys. Look at that. Wow. Look, he has eyelids, does he? Oh, it looks like it. I thought he had eyelids. <laughs> All right, guys, fun facts. As soon as the Komodo dragon is born, they have to run to the nearest trees. Because you know why? The adults eat their youngs. There, that's what happens. They actually eat their younglings. So this guy was probably lucky. He ran to the nearest tree and hide, and that's how he survived, guys. The Komodo dragon leaves on the tree until it's about 1.2 meters large. Then he gets to the ground. Otherwise, he would be eaten. You guys, that's a skull of a Komodo dragon. Studies have proven that the Komodo dragon uses venom to kill its prey. Hmm. See guys, its saliva has bacteria. So what this venom does, it, it prevents clotting and causes rapid blood loss. Hmm. 
Besides eggs, guys. Eggs. And you guys, I've just spotted another Komodo dragon. Come on, focus, focus. Come on, focus, focus. Yeah. Oh my, that guy is fat. Seriously. <laughs> he probably just had a meal. Look at his stomach. So we have now come to the giant tortoise area. Yes, this is how big they would grow. But this is not the real stuff. The real stuff is over there. Let me show you. See guys, giant tortoise. Ooh. And there's plenty. Just to give you a little size comparison, that's the zookeeper, that's the giant tortoise. He is one huge and heavy, heavy fella. I mean, even when they are small like this, they're still huge. And I'm pretty sure I won't be able to carry him. So that big guy is like... 255 kilograms. And the small guys? Should be around 100 plus, at least 110. 110? Yes. That's heavier than me. <laughs> <laughs> Even the Tsukata, they are already around 60 plus. 60 Ooh, plus. or the small ones at the back? Yeah, they okay. are species. Ah. How long do they live up to? Oh, in captivity, the record is 255 or so. 255 years. 255 years. Yes. Right now, our oldest here is, is around 90 years old. So this guy is the oldest, right? Yes, that's right. And he's 90 years old. Yep. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> Did you ever thought that reptiles would be interesting? Like they would just mostly stay still and not move? I'm having a blast here. And guys, look at this. Look at all these company names at the back here. These companies are sponsoring to take care of the turtles. Look at that. Company name, the turtle's name, company name, turtle's name, giant tortoise. Tortoise! Tortoise, guys. Giant tortoise, not turtles. It's hard for me to capture this, but that's the mangrove snake. Wow, it's really far at the end. But I found it, guys. Look at this yellow stripe. Here, guys, the picture. The picture. This is what the snake looks like. Mangrove snake. African spurred tortoise. There he is, guys. There he is, chilling on top of the rock. I think there's food there, that's why. And on top of this rock is the iguana. The rhinoceros iguana. Also known as the horn lizard. Okay, let me give you a side shot. I don't like him staring at me. Notice how he blends with nature. Like if you were to just see this from afar, he blends in. A Living Like Liner vlog wouldn't be completed if I didn't give you a close-up shot of the iguana. I think I can do closer. Boom! Let me show you its body. Look at that. We got peacocks in the house. Alright guys, you're not featured in today's vlog. Next time, next time. Today we are doing the reptiles. See ya! You guys. I'm injured. Look at that red mark there. Could you see that red mark? I was using my camera, I was filming. A little caterpillar with those spiky things, those caterpillar with the spike stuff, landed here. And I was holding my camera, and then at the minute when I pull back, it, that spike, yes, that's it. That's the spike. It's dangerous, guys. Be careful. I'm poisoned. So I'm here at the Indian Garia. Today, it doesn't want to come out and play. It's like far deep in that corner. If you can see, it's there, that guy. This is what it looks like. I mean, even if I could get him on the zoom lens, it's not a pleasant sight to see his ass. Again, guys, there are days where you don't get the shot you need because he's going to stay there at least an hour or two. And I got to continue. I got to continue because I want to show you guys the tortoise shelter. So this is the Indo-Chinese box turtle. I think it's a crossbreed between an Indonesian and a Chinese, I guess. Look guys, I'm not even kidding. Look, Indo-Chinese box turtle. And here we have the Indian star tortoise. From Bollywood? 
And another one over there, showing me his ass again. This guy is a Burmese star tortoise. Wow, we got all the stars in the house. I mean, one star from India, and then now we have the Burmese star, and then we got the crossbreed Hindu Chinese tortoise. Here is the leopard tortoise. Ah, okay, so where are you from? Leopard tortoise, where are you from? Southern and Northern Eastern Africa. It's too bad you're not a star. Over here, we have the Chinese box tree stripe turtle. What a long name. Could you see the tree stripes on his back? You guys, pronounce this word. Pro, pro. Okay, that's rough, love, plough, plough share turtle. <laughs> I'm so bad at English. <laughs> There's that guy there. I gotta be honest with you. My stomach just started growling. <laughs> I'm hungry, yes, I am hungry. And it is only 10 o'clock. They say that the restaurant opens at 10.30. <sighs> and into Reptopia we go. Remind me next time to have my meal outside the zoo before coming in. They have like KFC, Aming's restaurant and all the other stuff that I showed you on the previous vlog. They have that open. It's just that the ones inside the zoo opens at 10.30. Ooh, what do we have here? It is some sort of lab. Ooh, look at that guys. All the work and all the research. Look at all the tiny little reptiles they have on this tank here. Let me show you one. Look at that. Look at that snake. That is a side winger. Gee, look at this baby. Now everything here is all babies. That's a crest gecko over there. Large eye peep viper. I guess here's where the fun part comes. All the snakes. Woohoo! Oh my god, you guys, they have upgraded this place. Compared to the last time I was here, this place is so much more amazing. Look at that. <laughs> and here we have a blue tongue shrink. Or a single back shrink. Shingle back shrink. Maybe that one is the blue tongue. The Mexican bearded lizard. Mm. Come on, face the camera. Come on. You can do it. Face the camera. Yeah, there you go. Look at that guy, guys. Wow. And this is the ornate spiny tail lizard. The ornate spiny tail lizard. There he is, guys. More close up shot. Wow. You guys from Texas would know this. This is the Western Black Diamondback rattlesnake. Man, I don't want to mess with that guy. Look at that face. He looks so pissed. Whoa. Mexican red leg tarantula. What's up with all these animals today showing me their butt? Either you would pronounce it as Simon lizard or Carmen lizard. Kaiman, Kaiman lizard. Well, this is going to be challenging to search for a chameleon, but I spotted it. Can you see? He's up there. There he is, guys. So guys, this here is the panther chameleon. Wow. He's looking at me. <laughs> Look at his eyes, guys. I actually spotted a scorpion here. Believe it or not, that's actually a giant African scorpion. The scorpion king! Yeah! <laughs> oh. Wow, guys. Like, when the last time I was here, I didn't see this place. This place was not developed yet. This place was probably on construction the last time I was here. But now seeing this whole place, this is huge. This whole place is... It's just a statue, guys. <laughs> yeah, you fooled me. Man, I gotta give it to the zoo. This Raptopia place is amazing. This whole indoor place is cool. <laughs> and it's air-conditioned, I like it. <laughs> see this, guys. Do you see anything? Do you see anything here? Let me zoom in closer. Look at how camouflaged this guy is. This is the Gaboon Viper. Gaboon Viper. Where's this guy from? Africa. Can you see him now? <laughs> yep. You don't want to step on this guy. Man, plenty of animals are from Africa. So they're telling me to spot them. Okay, I'll try. Open. And here we are. Wow, it's so silent and calm here, guys. So we got the dwarf caiman. I think it's just there. I think I saw this in the river safari as well. There he is, guys. He's over there. And we got the channel bill toucan. Toucan. I know in the bird park vlog, I pronounced it wrongly. I said it's 
toss can or something like that. No, it's two can. And it's somewhere over there. Spot it. There he is. Down there, we got the red-footed tortoise. Hey, look at that. Wow. So after 30 minutes, we finally spot the green iguana up there, up on the trees. You've seen many of this in the bird park vlog. Here is a different angle of the green iguana. Look at him just chilling on the tree. So relaxing. I tell you guys, it's very hard to spot this animal. I mean guys, are you not having fun? This is so fun for me. Look, toucan. <laughs> toucan. And look, that iguana over there. <laughs> I notice a lot of people just come by here and they just walk past. They don't spend time spotting animals. Like if they don't see it, then that's it. They'll just go. Me on the other hand, 30 minutes of my life. All right, let's go in. This place is exciting. I think we've come to the snake. Well, should be snakes. Ooh, emerald tree monitor. And up there is your emerald tree monitor. He's shy. This is the Roti Island snake neck tortoise. Yeah, it does have a long neck. Have you ever seen a green python? That's the green python. Here is a close-up shot, guys. Wow. And this is the Savu Island python. That is its head over there. Oh, it's moving. Wow. Oh my god, he's staring to the camera. This is just beautiful, guys. We are looking at the Fiji branded iguana. Very nice green, I like the green. Look at the green stripes. It's beautiful, isn't it, guys? Wow. This is one pretty iguana. Seriously. <laughs> I don't even need to look at the description. I can tell this is the King Cobra. It looks like the front of a Mitsubishi Lancer. And last but not least, this is our reticulated python. Yeah, I think that's his head over there. Yeah, I think that's his head over there. But look at him sleeping in this cave. I believe there's a heater over there to keep it warm. All right, fun fact that I learned. Did you know that the king cobra can produce enough venom to kill 30 human beings? Hmm, fun fact. But sadly, our king cobras are being threatened and endangered because of deforestation. Yeah, it's always deforestation. Is that it? Is that it for the reptiles? Is that it for Raptopia? I think we completed it. I think so. Wow, you guys, I didn't expect this to be that long. Wait. No, I think there's more. That's the crocodiles. You guys, there are seats here. There is seats here for an audience to view the crocodile. Wow. So this is how the crocodile hatch their eggs. They bury them. Remember I told you guys about animals showing me their ass today? Yeah. That's all you get, guys. That's all you get. I told you guys, it happens, guys. There are some days I will get good shots. There are some days, no matter how long I wait, <laughs> all the animals want is to show me their ass today. <laughs> I am super hungry. We need to get some food. <laughs> Ah, our lovely chimpanzee. <laughs> Remember at the start of the vlog today, I said that I wanted to do apes because I just watched Kong and Godzilla. Well, I did Godzilla today. No apes, but Godzilla. If I'm being honest with you guys today, I wanted to do at least two sections, but I didn't expect <laughs> Raptopia to be so long or so huge or so much to see, so much to cover. See, even for me, even for me guys, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with Raptopia today because firstly, it's air conditioned. <laughs> Secondly, the amount of species, animals they have in there, it's <laughs> lots of snakes, lots of lizards, lots of different types of lizards, lots of tortoise, turtles, yeah. Raptopia, you think it's this small? No, this picture isn't accurate. It's huge. And I'm finally back here at the center where the restaurant is, did you know? Reptopia is all the way to the end. <laughs> I did the furthest one today. Oh man, that's a queue? Oh hell no. <sighs> well, I guess today, today is just not my day. Today is filled with no food and full of asses. <laughs> Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you in the next one. You guys keep smiling. See ya. Oh, my stomach. My stomach is growling. Oh, please remember to subscribe if you haven't. 
if you just found me, subscribe and smack that like button so it helps this channel to grow. Ah, yeah, appreciate it. Oh, and by the way, I'm wearing the Wolf <laughs> from the Night Safari vlog with Luna. If you haven't watched that, I'll leave a link here, go watch it. And I haven't been plugging my Patreon for a long time. So if you guys feel like you could support the channel, it does help the channel, then support the channel. Oh yeah, by the way, there was a special guest this month. There was a special guest in the private video this month. Just saying. <laughs> my members, they know it. And I give them the good stuff. More man-made waterfall. Isn't that pretty?